this video we shall be looking at Dell's U2913WM 29 inch widescreen IPS panel. My first impressions, wow this guy is wide. The reason behind that is that the aspect ratio is 64 by 27 and it does resolution of 2560 times 1080 as opposed to full HD that is 16 by 9 and resolution of 1920 by 1080 p. More on that as we proceed now let's look at the physical attributes of the monitor. The stand allows the monitor to swivel. The height and tilt angle can also be adjusted except it cannot be rotated to go portrait mode. The only way it stays is landscape. At the back we have the Kensington lock port for security and then leftmost there is the 3 pin AC power connector. Next to it is 12 volt DC the Dell charger type if you have that handy and then VGA display port in, mini display port in, DVI in, HDMI in, display port out for daisy chaining, audio out, USB in and then two USB port out. So as far as connectivity goes most mainstream input output is covered. Dell has made good of the USB hub inside and given additional two USB ports on the side of the monitor as well. The buttons are at the bottom right corner which is touch sensitive and to power up the monitor it takes about 5 seconds. The bezel of the monitor is so thin that it's almost non-existent however when the monitor is turned on we see there's a border. So it's not exactly edge to edge display but the flat surface of the edge does make it look quite nice. The menu is quite simple to use. The touch sensitivity of the buttons are not so bad and there is also a energy usage scale on the top right of the menu and it shows how much energy the monitor is using. So if we lower the brightness the energy usage goes down and the maximum I recorded was 46 watts. Now let's look at some gradients. First from dark to light the transition between the grey shades was very very nice. Um, there is no separation whatsoever and because of the width we had a good wide rectangle so it was pleasing to see that all the shades of grey were very nicely rendered. Similar trend was evident with the basic colors, the red, green and blue. There were no separations. The transition from the darker shade to the lighter shade worked quite nicely. Now some calibration may be needed but this monitor in general will work quite nicely for professionals, graphics designers, video editors and so on and so forth and there are more reasons for that too. Flat colors are also very uniform except you need to be looking at the monitor from the dead center. If you are looking at the monitor from an angle due to the width the contrast at one end of the monitor is changing hence the flat color starts to change. Now I'll explain that a little bit more. When we are viewing the monitor from the center the angle to the right and the left is equal. However if we are looking at it from one side in one side of the monitor the view is quite direct and the other side we are at a steep angle. So how all this relates in this case is that if we were to rotate the monitor or let's say we are looking at it from an angle the further end dims first. The contrast is changing from that end and the closer end remains brighter. Hence why I said the monitor is best viewed from the center directly. So up to now we know that the color reproduction is nice and we have to look at the monitor from the center. But what is it like to use in real life? Well this is where the fun begins. If we play a video or a movie the colors are like really punchy it's coming out. And the two black bars that you see on the other end of the video is because the video is regular 1920 by 1080p. The monitor itself has more pixels width wise so the black bars but that the eye gets used to very quickly. However most games these days will actually support this resolution and when playing games may I say candy pixels. <laughs> this is sweet. This is not like iPinity, it's not like multi-monitor setup but the difference is that when you are jumping up from just regular full HD to this widescreen format the mind actually realizes that the visuals are different and then we get used to it very quickly. And then 
if we try to go back to the regular full HD, uh, we're gonna dislike it. Now there's a real reason why that is. Now over here what we see on the screen is the 2560 times 1080 p the 64 by 27 aspect ratio. And you see the guy polishing the boot is in full view it says on top every day and on the right we can see almost the window frame now let's change the resolution to just regular full hd the window frame on the right can no longer be seen and the guy polishing the boot is half gone so there's actually missing content in full hd now this is not always apparent in some games like this uh, grid 2 over here the left side and the right side both appear to be identical However, the difference in FPS, if you notice, at the end of this benchmark, one did 44 frames per second average, the other did 39 frames per second. With regards to general productivity use, the higher resolution does mean more desktop real estate. If we open up two websites side by side, there is practically zero compromise, and that's where this monitor comes in on its own. This is how it is meant to be used, and I've used it like this for a while, and you really get used to it it's like having two monitors but it's one monitor in general for video editing i use three monitors um, what we see over here i've laid out the windows such that it can still be used if i'm in a pinch i can get away with this and if i were to take just one more monitor with full hd resolution that would suffice that is all that i'll need and the third monitor will no longer be necessary there is that much room in this monitor alone so in conclusion, there is plenty of good things we saw in this monitor. Great connectivity, good color reproduction, plenty of desktop real estate. Some games give you more content and it's great for productivity as well. The aspect ratio is different, thus it may not be for everyone. But at this point in time, Dell is really flogging it. In Australia, you might get one for under $500 and at that, it's a real bargain. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. What you liked or disliked about this video, please be sure to leave a note on the comment section below. And also please subscribe in order to stay updated with our latest upcoming videos. Hope to see you next time, bye for now.